Okay. So, uh, this was four of yous in a row because of my crazy medical emergency. Uh, but we're finally at the end here. So, um, the 50th film I watched this year, I'm halfway through my, um, my goal now, was Bo Burnham's Inside. Um, this is an interesting case in that usually I would not consider a comedy special, like, a film. Not in, like, a disrespectful way. Um, there's ar- obviously just artistry and writing and, um, editing and stuff. Goes, it, it feels more like, um, like I wouldn't put a novel on this list. It, it's a whole different animal. It's a whole different beast. But, uh, this was interesting enough that it was, <laughs> uh, beyond comedy special. It is an avant-garde musical biopic video essay comedy thing and frankly that's good enough for me um so as i explained earlier sunday i had a minor medical emergency um threw my back out had a bolting disc was stuck on my uh living room floor for eight hours before i finally uh, got help uh, had to be carried down in a stretcher. Um, so, I w- after getting out of the hospital, I was spending some time at my parents' house because they didn't want to leave me alone in case I fell down again. Um, I'm all fine now, by the way. Um, so, Inside is a musical comedy special thing, collection of skits and jokes and songs um, that Bo Burnham recorded entirely by himself and edited and wrote all by himself. Hey, this is Nestor again. Um <laughs> I really I should s- fucking sit down at some point and just compare Nestor to Inside. As that might be kind of interesting. I won't. I won't because I just said that and now the idea is out of my head and I don't need to do it anymore. Magical. Um but yeah, Inside was is a one man comedy show film avant-garde thing, uh, shot entirely in one room over the course of quarantine. Um, I do gotta say, I think of myself as a fairly lucky person. Things tend to work out for me, I would say. Uh, quarantine wasn't too bad for me. Uh, I didn't catch COVID. I'm vaccinated now. Um, uh, I mean, it was rough at first. Fucking, it sucked not doing things that... I didn't realize how much I liked going outside, and I did not care for the anxiety, but uh, quarantine didn't hit me that hard, compared to I know it hit a lot of people really hard. Um, but Inside was interesting in that it's a self-examination from Bo Burnham, um, sort of dissecting his own process and mental state over the course of quarantine, and like even beyond like COVID, um, just where he was mentally before it started and wh- how it, or when it ended. Um, so the whole thing is fascinating. Um, geez, it, it's this really eclectic um, mix of music and little comedy skits. Um, but I do want to say, it's first and foremost hilarious. Um, <laughs> like, I <laughs> very funny. Um, but the thing that really gets me is it's beautifully shot. Uh, it all takes place in one room. It's all uh, staged by him. But uh, I, I'm going to compare it to Nestor again. Like, the block is incredible. There's, like, a whole song he does on White Woman's Instagram where <laughs> he recreates, like, cliche photos from a White Woman's Instagram page. And, like, they're blocked beautifully. They're, like, really gorgeous to look at. Um... There's a recur- recurring motif of, like, circles, like, halos and spotlights to, like, draw your eye in different stages, uh, parts of the stage. I mean, like, that folds into the same theme of, like, a parasocial relationship and, like, performance. Plus, um, like, it just... It, uh, maintain, uh, the utility function of moving your eye around the screen where you need to see stuff. Um, God, it's incredible. I love... I liked it a lot. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, I really, so, um, yeah, the reason I mentioned, um, my medical thing is because I was watching this as my par- at my parents' house while I was, uh, on, like, their spare bed, 
um, having a hard time getting up and moving because my back was hurting so bad. But um, so it, it really did tie into that theme of being like trapped in a place. Um, so it was l- hit a little harder than it would I think normally. Um, God, I really the color grading is incredible. Oh my God! So the room was like a beige kind of white, but the f- um, like the gels, the filters, the lighting he uses, I pretty sure some of it's edited, just color graded. Um, but it it really makes the this tiny area feel um like expansive like there's way more going on here than you think and um the way he plays with blocking is really interesting that way too because like sometimes he'll uh the the field of view will be like really uh short so like everything just looks crowded like the the room is like clogged up and he's like walking around this tiny room sometimes it's really far off so the room looks looks more expansive so it feels like uh, it's more of an open world. Like it, it gives himself the room to play in this tiny space, which I appreciate. Um, and God, like as far as visual medium goes, it's incredible. As far as writing goes, it's hilarious. Uh, it's really personal. Um, <laughs> so uh, a lot of this hits hard because um, uh, Bo Burnham and I are literally two days. Like he's two days older than me. Um. <laughs> He was born like I looked it up. He was like born like August twenty first. Uh, I was born August twenty third, same year. So he, we were literally like the exact same age. Um, so when he's talking about how hard it hits to hit thirty, I was like, ah, yeah, that that sucked, huh? Um, I do want to point out, hitting thirty wasn't that bad for me because I had my existential crisis at twenty nine. That's the the ticket. Uh, freak out. Uh, when you right when you turn twenty nine, then just like level off and you hit thirty. You're like, oh, cool, that wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this film, avant-garde, musical, video essay, biopic, I don't fucking know, uh, one-man show, (laughs) um, yeah, five out of five, hell yeah, hard recommend, okay, yeah, I'm finally all caught up on these, uh, next time you see me, I'll be wearing a different shirt, bye.